Well, welcome YouTubers. Today's experiment um, will be a, uh, an attempted conversion of my uh, my Duramax uh, generator from gas to a dual fuel. Uh, I'm not really sure how that's going to work out. I'm supposed to receive a um, a conversion. Um, what is it? Uh, carburetor in the mail today. So we'll see when that gets here. Um, you know, and basically this is just a, what do they call this? The um, uh, 4500, MX 4500. And uh, they say it's a, a seven horsepower engine. I don't really know if it is or not. And I'll show you what we're going to be looking at here is this carburetor. And what I'm looking to do is um, uh, change out that carburetor and get a uh, propane conversion for it. So, uh, you know, stay tuned and a little bit later we should be receiving that part and, you know, we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm not, uh, don't have a, you know, a million, uh, million uh, tools or anything to work with. But uh, you know, with what I got, I'm gonna I'm gonna try this out. So um, basically, I think this thing will put out. Uh, who I want to say it puts out maybe 15 watts in there, and at the most. And over here, you can get I think uh, 24 uh, 24 amps, uh, 15 amps, and 24 amps. So, um, but when you use this site, you got to use a, the funny little plug. Um, and I got one here someplace else. If you were going to use, uh, I, I do have a table saw that I use sometimes, so I use this funny looking little thing here, and it plugs in on one side, and then on the other side it's got regular outlets, and you can get like, uh, I don't know, 14, 15, 15, you can get 30 watts out of there, well, 30 amps out of there. So anyway, when the part gets here, we'll go to it and see if it works. Okay, well the mailman did show up, and I uh, I got my package here in the mail, and it is pretty much um, just what I expected to get, um, just what they showed on the on eBay there, twenty four bucks, uh, twenty three whatever, twenty three and change. Um, this is the part uh, that I got, and it is. Um, Fairly basic, um, and the there's a show candle in there. Um, my only um, concern with this thing I don't like is this. I would prefer to have a uh, a three eighths inch um, male um, threaded fitting there, but um, that is the way it shows. So. Um, I, I don't believe that this can that this is threaded. This looks like uh, there's some um, gorilla glue or something on there that got the pressed in. So I don't know that I'm gonna try and take that out and take the time with a die and tap. So that's one thing I got to figure out. But um, I, I, I did look. Let me see if I can turn this real quick so that you can see it. Um, doing my, you know, just guesstimating here. This looks like it would fit there. Looks like it would fit there just, just about perfectly. And uh, we really shouldn't have a whole lot of issues. Um, I thought that if there were an issue that I would uh, separate this from the top and um, I'll mount this down here at the bottom, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I think this is going to to fit up here just fine. So we're going to go for go for it. Uh, unfortunately, that's this is what it comes with. There's no gaskets in the kit or anything. This is this is it, and they tell you to have it professionally installed. And we're just not going to follow those instructions. It doesn't seem like it'd be that tough. So stand by uh, 
We'll get started and we'll see where we go. Okay, well, dinner's over. And uh, I'd love to tell you that this was a tough gig, but <laughs> uh, let's see, four bolts and two nets. That's, that's what it took to get the air cleaner off there. So I just want to um, take a second to check this carburetor against that carburetor to see if they will actually made up and fit. So I did measure it, but eh, looks to me like that's going to be a pretty darn good fit. Question is, does this have enough room in there? So yeah, that's uh, next spot, but uh, looks like a looks like it's going to fit. So <laughs> we'll 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 check it out. Dinner's over, so we'll see if we can get a little bit further ahead here. Well, yeah, the other one came off, and it's just these two um, steel there. Nothing significant. So it looks like this will go on here, and it looks like it goes on, and everything clears, and I'm going to say probably will work. I don't see a reason why it wouldn't. So, hooray, hooray. Um, I guess if we're going to check for fits, we would try these. Make sure that this would go back on. Uh, geez, I think I got something behind it. Oh, fuel hose. I guess we would try this. To make sure that that would fit back on there. Yeah, that's okay. Make sure that would go back on. And then I think we would want to make sure that this would go back on. And that would be our main point of concern. So, sorry about the camera movement, folks. But I am working one handed. Yeah, everything would fit back on there so um, it's a matter of uh, gaskets now because I gotta show you the uh, old carburetor and there's the gasket stuck to the old carburetor so that's gonna be step number one is either getting some new gaskets or removing those so we'll, I'll let you know what happens Well, we're back, and needless to say, some of the plans have changed. So, um, basically, uh, what's happened here is um, I've decided to save the gaskets off the old uh, carburetor. So I, I did uh, cut um, cut out a couple of new gaskets. So we've got one there, and this does fit just uh, you know fine up on here. And uh, cut out another gasket. Yeah, not pretty, but should work on the back there. And what I want to do, um, because I don't like this, I don't like the fact that it's press fitted in there and putting a hose on it all the time, taking it off. Um, my solution is going to be to use a small piece of hose on there. Um, on the barb, put a barb in this end, and use a connector there so that you can just connect your um, your propane on. Um, the only thing I do want is some some sort of support. So I got this uh, a piece of scrap metal, and I've got a hole in it. So what I plan to do. Uh, is put that through there, um, thread that onto here, stick this up underneath this frame here, and now I've got some support and it's not just dangling. 
So that's that's the plan. So we'll see how it works here a couple minutes when we do get it um, all put together. So uh, with that, I'm going to uh, go through it. And as you know, there's not much to do there. Uh, put on a gasket. Um, this back housing here and two, two nuts. That's it. So there's not a whole bunch to do there. So um, let me get to it and we'll see how it comes out. Okay, um, got no more screws in my park holder, so yeah, that's a pretty good indication that I got everything back the way it's supposed to be. Um, there it is. That's that, that, that's all of it. Um, I, I don't know what else to tell you guys. It's, this is not something that requires a, a detailed instructions. It's just really simple, really easy. Um, I'm going to give her a try now and see uh, if we can get her started. And this will be on propane only. So, leave the gas valve off. Pretty loud, but let's try it with the propane tank to see how it goes. I mean, with the uh, compressor. job. Uh, I'm going to try it uh, on gasoline now. And uh, gasoline's working. I'm going to say uh, very successful. I want to take this a loose first though. Uh, make sure I don't have something spewing out of there. So we've got some lessons learned on this one. Um, you heard it run on, on the propane. We'll, we'll turn it on and let it run on gas. And we'll do that right now. Um, before I show you the actual um, the settings here for the carburetor. <laughs> instructions in the bag there's actually three settings there's a that's the choke it for for gas the center part is to run for the gas and all the way to the left it runs on propane so there are no instructions like I said to let you know that and one of the other lessons learned um, gaskets here um, you can get a little bit of gas still coming out the gaskets here I didn't know if I could scrape them off I did wind up scraping them off and it came off okay but uh, I wound up cutting some gaskets out of some gasket material, putting them on there. One thing you've got to make sure you do is put the gaskets on correctly. I wound up putting the gaskets on backwards and it did not run well on gas. It would run well on propane but not on gas. So I wound up flipping the gaskets around and getting them right. So that's the one thing you've got to pay attention to. Other than that, this is pretty much a seamless um, project. If you come around to this side, you go um, to see the, um, the conversion here. And um, the little mount that I put here, and the mount isn't even screwed to anything. It's just slid up underneath the uh, generator. I personally don't use the wheel wheel kit um, because it makes it a little high to put it in the, in the bed of the truck, and, and I don't move it around that much. And when I do, I just put it on the uh, on a hydraulic lift cart. So anyway, um, you know, for what it's worth, I think it, this is a twenty-three dollars well spent. So uh, like I said, I'll give it two thumbs up. It's a very easy project, and it doesn't require a whole lot of instructions. Uh, they give you none, but it doesn't require a whole lot. So thanks.
for watching, YouTubers, and I'll see you again soon.